Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, NDS, uh, NES Game Boy and Game Boy Color games and run them natively, or sorry not install, but run them natively off of uh, your 3DS or 2DS. Um, and you can do this off of the SD card as opposed to having to do them through a game cartridge, so a flash card or by other means. So to do this, what you're going to want is this you need DSi Menu++, Plus Plus. I'll put a link in the description and you're also going to want to have DSi Menu++ Plus Plus Launcher. So you're going to want to download this CIA. Um, I think you could do the dot 3 dsx if you want to do, but let's just stick with CIA for now. And you're going to also want uh, Menu++.7zip. Plus Plus now you will need a CFW, uh, you know, custom firmware for this, so just saying that now. I've got a video on how to do that, I'll link that as well. Um, so what you want to do is plug in your SD card into your system and go to the, well, the root of it. If you extract the DSi Menu++ Plus Plus folder into this and open it up, you'll see all these different files. What you're going to want to do is copy and overwrite, or copy this NDS file into here and overwrite any files that are already in there. You're then going to want to go into the CIA and copy across these two uh, CIA files into your own CIA's folder or whatever you call it. For finally copying across DSi menu plus plus launcher into your CIS folder. Oh, and one final thing, sorry. Also copy across this boot.nds. I'd recommend making a backup maybe before you do this just in case uh, anything goes wrong. But if anything does ha go wrong, you can always just take out the SD card and this DS will still, still boot fine. Okay, so you can also want to make sure you enable game patching in whatever CFW you're using, whether it be Luma or whatever. And then you're going to want to head over to FBI. Go to your SD and go to the CIA's folder. So what you're going to want to do is install DSi Menu++, plus plus, then the game booter, and then you want to install the launcher, because these two don't actually isn't anything you can actually play. So you want to just install those in roughly that order, um, but make sure you install these two first, then the launcher. So once you've done that, you can just uh, head home, close, and go into your TSI menu plus plus launcher. Make sure you transfer your ROMs as well to wherever you want to. So when you're here, you can change what the boot screen is, notification LED, uh, last one ROM, but don't do that unless you actually haven't run one, otherwise it will glitch. But otherwise just start this menu. Turn the sound on, so you can hear. Oh, guess so. Okay. Just like normal. Just loading. This is my new plus plus. And see, so, you know, I've got Pokemon Yellow, Platinum, Pearl, Diamond, Mario So I'll just show you with Platinum. Now, for those of you who use TW Loader, you'll understand that that didn't work on there. Whereas here, I think more fully just emulates the DS. And there we go, playing Pokemon Platinum. Now just to prove that um, it can do Game Boy games as well, Game Boy Color games. Start DSi menu. But yeah, just to make sure you don't understand, it doesn't play Game Boy Advance games, unfortunately. But there are other emulators out there for that.
kind, Kimboy. And there we go. Pokemon Yellow. Working perfectly fine. So that's how you get them to work, and they weigh pretty much natively off the SD card. So it's actually really useful uh, to have. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. Please like, rate, subscribe, or click the subscribe button on the screen in the front. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.